Hello, my name is Jacqueline Palliff, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a lever. Now most lever harps have a lever at the top of every string, and although it's not a very common type of repair, once in a while there might be a problem with one of these levers and it will need to be replaced. Uh, the type of harp that I'm using today is a Line and Healy Troubadour 5, and it has what are called performance levers. There are quite a few different types of levers out there. There's um, uh, Loveland levers and Robinson levers and Selby levers and so on. So different harp makers will use different types of levers. And also the age of your harp is a factor in uh, what type of lever you have. So this Lion and Healy Troubadour 5 is a fairly recently built harp. But say if you have a Lion and Healy Troubadour 2, that's a much older harp. And so it will have a different type of lever. And there are some small differences in working with the different types of levers. But overall, the process um, is generally the same. It's a fairly straightforward repair to do. So the way that it's supposed to work is that if we take a string, let's take this A string here as an example, and you pluck the string with the lever disengaged, you have a normal pitch. Then you can engage the lever, and now the pitch raises a half step. But if we look at our problem lever here, the B right next to it, you can see that it's just sort of hanging uh, loosely rather than being at a nice angle like the levers around it. And when I pluck this string, we get a lovely twanging noise and the whole lever is kind of flopping around. Um, and then when I go to raise the lever up, it doesn't really want to stay up there. It's just so loose. Um, so obviously that lever is not functioning as it should. I think the actual problem with it is that it's missing a nut off here on the left side. So we could just replace that nut and that would most likely solve the problem. But I thought um, for the purposes of the video, it would be best to replace the lever entirely. If you're looking at a lever that you think has a problem, um, good reasons to replace a lever might be that a part of it is broken off entirely. Say this little piece here could be broken off. Or if the whole lever is somehow uh, warped or twisted in the metal that would definitely need to be replaced as well. Now you'll need a couple of supplies and tools. You'll need a replacement lever, which can be ordered from a harp supply company. And of course to do so, you'll need to know the type of lever that you have. And then it's also good to be aware that the levers come in different sizes. So these levers down here are much larger than these levers up here. All I did was to call up the harp supply company and to tell them that I needed a uh, replacement for the third octave B, and then they sent me the corresponding new lever. Um, you'll also need a screwdriver to take the lever on and off. I'm not always great with my names for tools, but I believe this is called a ball end screwdriver or a ball driver. And obviously you want the size that matches uh, to your levers. This is quite small. And then you'll need a couple of standard harp things. You'll need a um, tuning key and some sort of electronic tuner or tuning app. Step one is that we need to move this string, the B string, out of the way. So to do that, I'm just going to take the tuning key and unwind the string the same way you would if you were um, changing this string. And once you get it unwound, you can just pull it out of the tuning pin and let it hang out of the way. At the end, we'll put that exact same string right back on the harp. With the string out of the way, we now have a much more access to the lever itself. And it is attached to the harp by this little screw in the back. So what we need to do next is unscrew that. I have here uh, the small ball driver and I'm just going to hold the lever up out of the way, wiggle it into the screw and turn it to the left to unscrew it. And once you have it unscrewed, then you can pull that right out and pull the lever off. And just like that, you removed your old lever. Now we'll go ahead and put the new lever on, simply reversing everything that we just did. So I have here the new lever and I'm going to make sure that it is um, set up to match all of the levers around it. So all of the hardware and things are sticking off to the left here and it's nice and straight vertically up and down. One interesting thing that you might notice is that the screw goes into this nice round hole just big enough for it in the wood here. 
but if you look at the lever itself you'll see that rather than being a round hole for the screw there is this long vertical um, sort of oval shaped hole that's so that you can adjust the lever vertically up and down on the harp and this becomes important in getting the pitch just right when the lever is engaged so I'm going to go ahead and hold the lever on with one hand and then add the screw with the other and just get it started, hopefully. Oh, there it is. And now that I've gotten it around a couple of times, I will go ahead and take my ball driver and start to screw it in place. I'm just twisting to the right. It's a little bit tricky to continue to hold the lever nice and straight while you're doing this, but I'm just trying to make it line up with the levers around it. So there we go. The lever is put on. It is all in place, and you can see that it now moves up and down nice and smoothly, unlike before. We are close to being finished, but not quite there. What needs to happen now is that you need to check to make sure that the lever, when engaged, raises the pitch by exactly a half step, no more, no less. And the only way to check this is to go ahead and put the string back on and give it a try. Now I was going to just reuse the old string that we took off, but I was having some trouble with it. So this is a new B string, but there it is threaded up. Then I'm just going to wind it around. Once you have the string put on, I would go ahead and play it with the lever disengaged and make sure that it's in tune with the tuner. Then just raise the lever up and play the string again and see if it's still in tune with the tuner. My tuner is saying that it's a little bit flat when the lever is engaged, which means that it's not raising the pitch quite enough, not an exact half step. So what we need to do now is take the string back off, adjust the lever vertically. You remember that oval piece that allows you to slide and um, then tighten it back up and check it all over again. Here we go. So first I'm just going to unwind the string again to get that out of the way. And once that has happened, you just want to loosen up the screw on the lever a little bit, enough to allow you to adjust the lever. So now it's easily able to slide around. And since the, um, the lever, when engaged, was not making the pitch high enough, I need to drop the whole lever down a tiny bit and re-tighten it up. If you have the opposite problem, if when you adjusted the lever, it was raising the pitch too much, then you want to make your um, lever a little bit higher on the harp. So once that is tightened back up, then you can put the string on and test the whole thing all over again. Obviously, this part of the process can get a bit tedious with having to keep taking the string on and off and adjusting the lever such tiny amounts, but we'll go ahead and see how we're doing this time. So there's my string in tune with the lever disengaged. And then if we put it up, it is right in tune. So there we have our new lever all properly installed. We've gone ahead and removed the old lever and replaced it with the new lever, which is now working really well. Um, as with so many repairs, I find this quite satisfying. Generally, if you have a lever that's not working well, it's making all kinds of ugly noises and <laughs> playing the harp is not all that pleasurable. So having the new one and no more um, strange twanging noises or the lever flopping around is a great feeling. Uh, if you're going to go ahead and try this repair, good luck to you.